in the measurements experiment, we are working with making measurements using a measuring device to the best of its ability. So that's the, the key for this experiment. Like if we are measuring the length of the black bar in A, using the ruler shown below it, we notice between 0 and 10 centimeters are 10 divisions. That means each division is 1 centimeter. We see that the bar is a little bit over 9 centimeters. So then the 9 we're sure of, and we're going to report that last digit, which is the most uncertain one, but it's better to report it than not because we can we can read between the lines and see that it's not quite halfway across so we would call that for example 9.4 centimeters maybe somebody else would say well it's 9.3 centimeters a third person maybe 9.5 centimeters and all of that is okay if the bar is as in B and it's basically at the 10 centimeters line, we wouldn't call that just 10 centimeters because the precision of that ruler allows us to report one decimal. So we would say it looks like it's not a little bit under, not a little bit over, it's right on the 10 line, so we would call that 10.0 centimeters. Some rulers like the one that you'll use in the actual experiment, has 10 divisions between those one centimeter lines. That means we can report one more decimal. So we need to read the measuring device to the best of its ability. This is using a graduated cylinder, a 100 ml graduated cylinder, to measure the quantity of liquid in it. And in A, we would see that it's, well, between 90 and 100, there's 10 divisions, so each one is 1 ml. We would be right at eye level, and we would see that it's between 93 and 94 mls looks a little bit under the halfway point, so we might call that 93.3 mLs. Maybe we would call that 93.4 mLs. In our next example, B, we see that it is at the, let's see, it's between 80 and 90, it's at 86. Somebody might call it a little above, somebody might call it right on 86, so basically 86.0 mLs, 86.1 mLs. We will also be using a 10 mL graduated cylinder, and that allows us to get one more decimal because between 1 mL in a 1 ml division on this 100 ml grad cylinder, in the 10 ml grad cylinder, there's 10 divisions. We're not getting classmates' data, so we're not going to be making this the average or standard deviation calculations. So, the actual experimental procedure in part A, we are measuring the length of a plastic weigh boat, and we're using a ruler that allows us to get one more decimal than the example given in the, in the write-up for this experiment. In station B, we are using a 100 ml graduated cylinder. That's just like the the diagram shown in this lab write-up intro. Station C, we're using a 10 ml graduated cylinder, so one more decimal. Station D, we're measuring with a thermometer. Um, station E, we're measuring using a balance to measure mass. It gives us two decimals. We simply write those down. In station F, we are measuring the mass of an object using the analytical balance, which gives us four decimals. So we definitely write all them down. Notice this last line here that for the analytical balance, 
it looks like a comma, but it's really meant to be a decimal point. So what looks like, for example, 12,3456 grams is really 12.3456 grams. So we have no data to share with from lab partners, so we're only working with our own data. In the last part, we are determining the density of a salt solution. So read through these Part B instructions carefully so that you understand what's going on in the experiment part. In our next part of the experiment, we have the pre-lab. Every experiment, every activity has a pre-lab. You will not be submitting those, so you need not do the pre-labs or the pre-activities. And then comes the report. This is what you will fill out, you will submit in Canvas online. So you will be reporting your data for parts A, B, C, and D in this table. You will be reporting your data for the mass of the 100 ml beaker using the centigram balance and the analytical balance. Again, no classmates data. And then in part B is where you do the, give the density uh, information. Then we have the calculation and results. So you can skip this first table because that relied upon having classmates data, which we have none of. But do part B the density of a salt solution, do fill in that table. For the questions, you can skip question one, but do question two. Notice that question two has you measuring the length of an object using a ruler much like we did in the experiment. That is, the length is between three and four centimeters, and there's 10 divisions between 3 and 4. So we can get precisely some of those numbers and then we read between the lines to get the last number. Alrighty, so when you have this filled out, scan it. Definitely it will need to be scanned as a PDF file and then submit it in the result in the uh, measurements um, assignment area.